Almost on a daily basis, I meet a lot of students, entrepreneurs, CEOs, and people from different backgrounds. Thanks to Biotechnica, I get a lot of opportunities to meet diverse background people with different kind of thoughts and ideas. So recently, I met a B.Tech first year graduate and his name is Kishore and he came down all the way from Chennai and he had some questions. Of course, a detailed video of that will be posting later, but this particular question came out from that conversation and I want to ask you too, let me know in the comment section, why are you doing this degree? Why are you doing a professional degree in biotechnology? Now, that is something which you should ask any day whenever you feel like because most of us have different reasons for pursuing science. And um, so, you know, like I interacted with a lot of them. When a person like after their NEET exam, they could not qualify, they enter the, the biotech sector, whether it is B.Tech or uh, bachelors, they don't ask this question. Instead, they're like, okay, this is the alternate to NEET, so let's take it. And that is where it all begins, right? You decide to take up this course and then you're pursuing this course and somewhere you fall in love with the subjects, right? So what started as an alternative to your medical sciences career or you could not become a doctor, so you joined as a B.Tech. Not all of you, but some of you do that. And then you fall you know, in love with the science, fall in love with the subject and then you want to pursue this as a career. So here are a few pointers which I want to put in front of you very bluntly, very clearly. What mistakes all of us are doing the day we are starting this degree? Uh, I know a lot of plus two students also watch my videos as well as uh, bachelor students. So this is for you, whether you're in master's or PhD, even this video is for you. Now, most of the master's students said this to me that uh, I have interest in advancing my scientific knowledge. I want to you know, pursue a career in science, so I chose this subject. That's why I did my MSc. Many of the PhD students said that they wanted to contribute to research in healthcare and medical sciences. So they could not do it through the practicing medicines. Okay, you, they got into biotech sector and to develop new drug therapies and uh, develop new medical technologies. Okay, that's uh, very nice way. And then, uh, then I asked, whenever I ask a B.Tech or a B.Sc. student, he says, okay, I want to pursue a career in uh, biotechnology because I want to you know, earn some money. And then, of course, as you fall in love with uh, research, you, you know, want to pursue a career in research, innovation. And off late, I'm getting a lot of um, students who are writing to me saying that they want to pursue entrepreneurial opportunities wherein they can earn a lot of money. And then uh, there is a set of people who are really concerned about um, the global challenges the world faces like global warming, like pollution, like population, like lack of resources, like food and malnutrition. So they want to make a mark and solve problems like this. So of course, there is a small set of people who do that. But today I want to ask you a stronger question than all these reasons. You know, these reasons are for the external world, right? For the internal world, which is you, you need to ask a question, right? So let's ask plain and blunt that the reason you pursued a professional science degree is because you wanted to earn a lot of money and at the same time contribute to the society. So both ways, both wins. You also win, the society also wins. In fact, any course people do, especially professional vocational courses because they want to make money at the same time contribute to the society, correct? But somewhere this gets lost, whether the money part or the you know contribution part, and we become robotic, we just start working the way the world wants us to. So, okay, you want to succeed, but here's the thing you should know that getting a high paying job is a trick. Okay, that's point number one. Getting a high paying job is a trick, and pursuing a PhD is not a punishment. That's the point number two. Point number one is getting a high uh, paying job is a trick. It's a, it has got a recipe. And the point number two is pursuing PhD is not a punishment. The third is not pursuing PhD also is not a wrong thing. Okay. And the third is 
you should not just focus on today's scenario you should also work on towards future proofing yourself right and that is where today i want to tell you this that if you want to pursue a career in science do not specialize only in one thing you have to also broaden your horizons by pursuing different and vertical things and horizontal things also by vertical and horizontal things so vertical is like you di keep digging deeper for example you did biochemistry then you further keep digging deeper in that and then finally come to for your phd so that's your vertical growth horizontal growth is where you apply some bioinformatics or ai tools or some computer science into your biochemistry or molecular biology or cell biology whatever is your specialization so my point here is you are pursuing science because you want to earn good money and at the same time contribute to the society if either of these two are not happening that's a wrong thing right and majority of the students without putting in lot of efforts they start concluding that this is a problem with humans without putting enough effort we start jumping to conclusion and that conclusion would be okay it's not happening okay it won't work okay we won't get a su successful in this you know you have to work for years together to achieve success in any industry right for example if you look at sundar pichai right he is the ceo of google so have you ever gone and checked how many years he worked in google or several other projects inside google or anywhere else where he worked on leadership positions right now one important thing you all should know is the real volcano of biotech has already erupted and that was in 2020 to uh, covid-19 pandemic right now the world has understood the importance of uh, biotechnology biosciences research and at the same time more indian researchers are readily being exported or imported by other countries because they know the quality of research which indian researchers have they indian researchers can work in any condition and still come out with results right so you should be proud of yourself you should be proud of your uh, work and you should keep working hard in that direction now if you are a bachelor student keep moving forward if you are a master student keep pursuing science and keep learning new things updating your knowledge if you are already into phd you know you have to do, don't just go vertical go horizontal like i said and if you are into a postdoc you know you can always go and take some international exposure and then come back to india or whether you want to settle in whichever country it's up to you but at the phd level and the postdoctoral level i am seeing some great placements happening across the globe okay and all those students who don't want to do their phd also for them also there are many alternate careers where i am seeing six figure eight eight figure salaries coming to them okay so here are a few pointers to conclude this video the first is don't take your degree as a punishment instead take it as a foundation of course it is a paper okay after a few years nobody is going to bother how much marks you got in bsc or msc but they will always care for how much you learned or what is a strong foundation because on this foundation only you're going to apply in your knowledge having said that if your dream is phd then you have to go all in i got a lot of emails from students who felt that they uh, they didn't do enough preparation for the previous exam for csir net the problem is you're not going all in you have to go all in to achieve success you can't just have okay i'll have my fingers into a job also and this also that also you have to focus on one thing at a time if you are trying to focus multiple things then you have to improve your productivity okay and we do have a productivity course which you can always uh, take up and very important thing is see today you are doing something okay you got results you got a job you got a salary but are you adding enough skills to future proof yourself that is a question to be asked you see in a few years uh, from um, today AI is going to take over drug discovery AI is going to take over agriculture AI is going to take over your multitudes of uh, biosciences okay so instead of getting replaced by AI if you start learning AI you you can definitely grow same way uh, whether it is um, you know any science whether um, like, okay you did your masters in uh, chemistry or biology you can always go for another masters in uh, another subject like computer science also and then you can mix and merge right i know a lady she is working in john hopkins in us right now she did her msc botany in chandigarh okay and then she didn't do phd she went and uh, did a you know ms in computer science also
So now she has double degree. So she understands biology and she understands computers. She got placed in John Hopkins, right? And she's been working there for past 10 years and on a top level position. So there are many people who didn't do PhD still they, you know, grew. So you have to keep your eyes open. Bioinformatics is the trend. CRISPR is the trend. AI is the trend. Utilize. Okay, machine learning, data science is the trend. And there are some great, you know, courses also coming like IBB has this big data science uh, course. Even SRM uh, Andhra Pradesh has some great courses. Uh, VIT has some great courses. Uh, Nirma University has amazing courses. And no matter which college you go in, you can always go for the hands-on because the more hands-on you do, basically what I'm seeing a trend in India, majority of the uh, scientists who are giving hands-on, they are postdoctoral scientists returned from US and uh, like we have this IAC lab, which where students are, the ARM scholars are taking uh, training now. So that's a postdoctoral scientist, University of Washington. She is, uh, because of family, she had to come back. So she's training students. So you're getting the exposure of United States in India, right? And that is amazing, right? So with these thoughts, I wanted to tell you that you are pursuing science, not just to contribute to the society, but to contribute earnings to your family also. And you are here to succeed. You are here to achieve high paying job. You are here to, uh, if need be PhD, if not PhD, something else. But there are uh, jobs in this sector and you have to future proof yourself, learn trending topics, newer things, don't stop learning. Okay. And at the same time, stay subscribed to Biotechnica because newer things keeps coming. Just this weekend, we are coming up with a workshop on AI in uh, drug discovery this weekend. Next weekend, we are coming up with a collaboration uh, workshop where we'll train you on collaboration, how to collaborate as a researcher and use AI tools. And then uh, every month, we are going to come up with massive training modules and workshops and internships for all of you. In fact, we are giving scholarships also to uh, meritorious students. So all you have to do is uh, keep a check on Biotechnica because all things biosciences happens here. At the end of your degree or your career, you should become a 360 degree researcher who is ready to fit in into any lab, any company, any organization. That is the kind of flexibility, malleability you have to bring into your career and rest all will follow. Success will come your way. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I was able to give you some broad ideas. Comment below what kind of videos you want, us, want from us and I will definitely make them. Thank you so much. Keep shining. Bye-bye.